Hi guys and welcome to Red Sweet Outdoors. It's time to try out some new equipment, namely the Trangia Triangle and its farmer's omelette on the menu. So join me for lunch. Welcome to Red Swede and August. Uh, we are just gone into August, it's the second today, and uh, we had some overcast and rain the last days, but uh, today most of the clouds just disappeared and we have an enormously beautiful summer day. And it's a perfect time for me to have a little outing. And for the people that like to gather uh, fruits, berries and mushrooms, it's, it's a prime right now. Uh, you can still find blueberries and raspberries even if they have passed the prime and the blackberries are just uh, waiting to get ripe. But there's fruits in the trees and there are mushrooms. Of course not all can be eaten, but if you know where to look and no one else does, you can find your fill there. And as I hinted in an earlier video, I had some pieces of equipment that uh, was waiting for a field test. I have been doing the Trangia Mini for some time and uh, today it's time for actually another product from Trangia. And it's the Trangia Triangle and that's a mouthful if anything. And uh, this is extremely lightweight and compact on its own. Uh, but it's not a complete kit in its own. So let's take it out with a bag and it's just four parts and uh, this you might say it's basically a, a pot stand uh, that can house uh, Trangia burners and it's compatible with all the burners that Trangia do both gas spirits and the gel burner uh, and uh, from the comments I got uh, before about the Trangia Mini. Uh, the Trangia Triangle does protect a bit better from the wind, but um, I still got the windshield with me. I, perhaps it will be needed. And it, it's a bit fiddly to assemble the first time uh, uh, until you get a hang of it. But uh, when you get a hang of it, it's pretty easy. You can see there's a little edge there and a slot and you bend it over and you continue with the next part and to the last part you bend over like this so now the windscreen is assembled and now the fiddle part you have to squeeze a bit to get the pot stand in let's see if this is visible on camera so you twist it like so into the slots and then you push. And now it's assembled and done. And here you can put the burner of your choice. And uh, I tried it out with some of the equipment at home. And uh, I have some billy cans that are too small uh, to sit on the Trangia Mini. Uh, but this one can handle it pretty nice. So it's time to try this out today. And uh, for some stats for you that are interested in that, that will be in the description below. But uh, it weighs in 116 grams. And when it's disassembled, the dimension is 126 millimeters by 86. 85 that is. Uh, so it's takes very little space, you can put it down the pocket without any hassle at all. Uh, and uh, since it's not a kit of its own, you need some kind of equipment to make some cooking. A billet pot, uh, a teapot or, or a fry pan. And uh, for today I brought a billet pot for a coffee and uh, the non-stick fry pan from the Trangia Mini to make my omelette. So, 
let's put things up and start cooking. So let's load everything up. My plate and the fry pan will live there. My little spatula. This uh, is a pretty nifty little trick I learned from Thomas. Put a Ziploc so it's easy to keep it closed but still easy to use it. It doesn't fall off if you turn it inside out. So uh, for that tip, thank you. Uh, on the menu today, farmer's omelette. It's uh, the dish uh, well, I'm quite familiar with from my childhood and uh, it was a good way to take care of leftovers. Uh, you just need the leftovers and a couple of eggs. And uh, in Swedish it's called bundomelette. And uh, I think it's the same name in German, Bauen omelette. Uh, and uh, it's very similar to uh, the Italian frittata and uh, the Spanish tortilla. Uh, not to be confused with the Mexican tortilla because that's a flatbread. And uh, as many other dishes like this, I'm, it's very likely you can find it in several countries since it's leftovers and eggs. And uh, I think that's a pretty common feature in every household. So, what do we need for that? I will start with an onion and some potatoes. And for the protein part, in my billy, I have some cured pork belly. So it's not real bacon. Let's start with filling this one up. Let's take a full one. And since I have good experience with that since earlier, I'm going to add some water to the burner. Because it's quite a short distance between the burner and the frying pan. And on the triangle as well, so uh, a bit less dragon breath would be nice. And first of all, let's slice the onion. And today I chose a red one. Uh, it's equally well with uh, yellow onion or some kind of other onion if you have. Uh, you basically take what suits you nice. And I want medium pieces when I chop now. Not real coarse and not real fine, but somewhere in between. As you all know, when you fry onions for some time, it lessens in size and I don't and I want the pieces just right. And potatoes, that's yesterday's potatoes, they are boiled, so they are ready to eat. And in cubes, somewhere between a half and one centimeter. And if you choose to do this at home, you can just as easily do it in the oven, especially if you do a big batch. But now I'm just doing a small one for one person, so I think the fry pan should be perfect. And let's take the pork belly and uh, roughly the same size as 
the potatoes. I think I'll have to cut them in half first to get it somewhat manageable. And this one is sliced from the beginning. Uh, if you get a whole one, that's equal well. So, the food prep is mostly done. So, let's get the fire going. Yes. Somewhat centered. And let's add the butter. And as the first impression goes, uh, this triangle looks more steady than uh, the Trangia Mini pot stand. And it seems to be more forgiving for an uneven surface. And right now the winds are pretty low, so I'll try without the windshield and see how it goes. But uh, if the wind picks up, I guess the windshield goes on as usual. When the butter starts to go silent, time to add the food. And now this should sit here for four to five minutes, approximately, before we add the omelette itself. And, uh, I see a lot of videos on YouTube about making the perfect omelette uh, and they present it, it's light and it's creamy and the chef treats the omelette like it was a delicate flour. Uh, this is something completely different. Uh, this is for the people who do manual labor and need something really filling and uh, robust. And that makes it perfect in the outer kitchen in my book at least. Yeah, the wind picked up a bit, so hence the windshield. It's on and off, but uh, I'll keep it for now. As you probably can see, uh, most of the ingredients has been come quite a bit smaller while I've been frying them. So uh, now we'll have actually have room for the omelette, and uh, this is almost done. So it's time to prep the omelette and I think this one could be perfect for that purpose. And I think we will manage two eggs in the pan. in the garbage and I want salt and pepper I don't think I need that much salt since the pork belly has been lying in brine for quite some time so um, should be enough salt anyway. And let's whisk up the omelette. And to make it a bit more filling, I'm going to add some milk. And about this much should be perfect.
Let's see. Move this around a bit more. Let's add I know this just sit here until it's all been as it sets, as we say in Swedish. Um, I'm not quite sure what that is in English, but until uh, the eggs have become solid. And I think this heat is a bit too excessive, so uh, let's add the simmering. Like so, maybe. And now we just wait. And uh, while the omelette is settling down, I'm going to prepare some veggies because I like that. Some tomatoes. And a piece of red bell pepper. And uh, here's also a piece of new equipment. Um, there's a Chinese brand, I think they are trying to uh, get a piece of the market in Sweden because uh, they are starting to put out titanium products in the outer uh, shops. And uh, this titanium plate, uh, I've seen on 26 grams, and uh, it costs 20 euros. And uh, that's a pretty nice price for a titanium plate. Uh, so I took the opportunity. Why not? And next thing on the menu to uh, make the omelette look a bit more tasty, some parsley. So let's chop that up and make it ready. I would say that this is pretty much done. So let's see if I can get it on the plate in, in one piece. Um, that would be kind of the dream. But uh, I leave no guarantees. So we're putting the non stick surface to the test once more. I can say it's not the easiest thing, but we just barely managed. And let's remove the simmering. And add the coffee. And some greenery. And there we have it. Yes, I guess it's time to eat. This is what it became. Farmer's on that. And Let's grab a bite with everything. Looking good. Mm. A little crisp in the pork belly. Sweet from the onion. Yeah. This is pretty much what I remember.
easy as pie. Takes a bit, takes some time. 10 minutes give or take uh, on the burner, but anyone can do this. Well, see you to coffee. Yes, it's coffee o'clock, once again. Mm, nice. Yes, that was the first field test uh, of the Trangia Triangle. Um, it performed pretty much as I expected, since, I mean, it's, it's a pot stand. Um, The comment says it's slightly better in the wind um, than the Trangiamina, um, and that might be true. Uh, at some point, I still had to use the windshield because, <coughs> as you probably can see, it's it's nowhere near as uh, well protected for the wind as uh, in the 25 or 27 Trangias, um, which have an excellent windshield. So. Uh, on a day that's dead calm, uh, I think it's a good standalone. Uh, but when the wind picks up a bit, definitely a windshield on this one too. And uh, as I said before, it's not a complete kit, so uh, you basically have to custom build how you want to use it. And uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing in my book. Uh, <clears throat> Because uh, I like mix and match uh, different kits to get what's right uh, for just that hike when I go out. I pick the things I need and uh, uh, most things uh, will work on the triangle and not my path on a cup, it's uh, too little in diameter. So uh, when I got some hints on how to make a better stand for or the mini and I think that would work well on the triangle too so I can use pretty much um, what pots I want <coughs> and I know uh, Trangia has uh, kind of a pot stand for uh, the larger varieties uh, so you can use an espresso cooker or something like that and uh, maybe uh, that's the same dimension you can use on the triangle. Uh, <clears throat> I have to check at home and see, because uh, then that's an alternative too. Um, but I think that will make the pot sit even closer to the flame, so uh, it's harder with the flame control. And uh, it was tough uh, adjusting the simmering because it just wouldn't fit in all angles, so uh, pretty much closed or none at all, uh, that's what you can get. In the Mini you can twist it around and get it to open how much or how little you want. So uh, the Mini is best for the simmering. Um, the Triangle is better for uh, some smaller pots. So, uh, But it's a, it's a kit I will fiddle around with and get to know better and uh, I think it be, could be quite good with a gas burner uh, as I said before uh, the Trangia gas burner it, it fits well in that one so uh, <coughs> that could probably be, be a good idea and then you have all the flame control you want yes and dinner yeah it was good. It's like I remember it from my childhood. Um, of course, a bit tweaking to uh, cook it outdoors, as always. Um, but well enough. And uh, as I said, it's dead simple. <coughs> you can, if you can fry an egg, you can do this one. And uh, since it's made for leftovers, you can put just about anything you want in it. Uh, the, the base recipe talks about 
boiled potatoes, onions and some meat or from pork. Uh, but you can use just about anything that you have left over. Or what do you think? I want this. Well, thank you for joining me today. Uh, it's nice to be out and about again. I still have some things I need to field test. Uh, that's in the pipe. Uh, I see an opportunity for it uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, away. And um, we'll see if that performs like I wanted to. Uh, I have high hopes for that one too. But I will leave you with that cliffhanger for now. I think if you like the video, you know the drill. The thumbs up helps the video, helps the channel. Uh, gets the video recommended to more people. Uh, your comments are always appreciated. So uh, keep on coming. If you have your own tweak uh, at the omelette, if you have experience by the triangle, I know some of you have, you have mentioned it before. Uh, I love to hear of your experiences. Uh, I learn a lot from you guys too. And uh, if you're not already a subscriber, you can consider pressing that subscribe button. On, and the bell almost guarantees that you will get a notification when I'm out and doing shenanigans of the wood. Something new or something I've done before, but maybe in a little bit different way. But until the next time, take care. I'll see you then. Cheers. <laughs>